Okay, so I'm all done uh, cleaning off my parts. I uh, got all the uh, melted uh, shift dampeners or puck uh, matter off of there. So um, now I've got all my pieces here for my second gear reassembly. Um, you can see I've got three new shift dampeners here um, ready to go. So um, these kind of have a little bit of extra plastic or rubber, whatever they are. Um, just tear those off so it doesn't end up causing any problems and then uh, what we'll do is start reassembling it so first thing we'll do is take this main shaft here you'll see uh, there's some grooves cut out here um, so that these can fit in uh, so you'll put it in this way and once you slide them down the proper way, see if you uh, don't have them the right way, it won't slide all the way in. Uh, so make sure um, that you're not looking at this part, you slide it in. That part, that way it goes all the way in. And also you'll notice you'll have a lot more room for your puck here. Um, that'll become more apparent uh, <laughs> when you see the pucks go in because they're a pretty tight fit. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll put our back plate on and the uh, the back plate or the front plate I'm not sure the proper terminology for it but has these studs here and it goes towards the uh, the first gear uh, on the threaded side here so you'll stick that in and you can see there's a uh, holes there for these studs to go in so they go in nice and smooth then uh, make sure you're not scraping too terribly or anything um, one main indicator to me when I when I was first looking at the second gear was that when I turned this I I heard a click on one side and uh, it after looking at it while I was cleaning it too uh, it looks like it had started to uh, deteriorate the pucks and we were get, in fact getting a little bit of a metal click there and that can be a problem because uh, you can end up shearing the teeth off of your gears if those dampeners go completely off so um, probably just in time for us here. So now what we'll do uh, to make it a little bit easier to get these pucks in, I'm just going to drop that plate there, hold this up, and take one of the pucks. Uh, you can see um, it's really almost impossible. They're kind of hard, and you can get them in there um, if you squeeze them a little bit. Um, so, uh, if you have any trouble with that, uh, you could always just lift this up a little bit, go ahead and tamp this in, and then just slide it down on it. But uh, I've been messing with these pucks a little bit to kind of make them a little more supple, so um, you can see how that fits in there. Yeah. And we'll put the other ones in. There's the next one sure they're all flush and put number three and there we go okay so now when uh when I turn this you see they kind of give way and uh, keep that metal from hitting metal when you shift into second so pretty neat stuff all right so let's put this uh this back plate back on those studs in there and then make sure when you're putting this top piece on um, where the screws go there's a bevel here around the edges make sure that goes to the outside so the uh, the beveled screws can go all the way in so just slide that all the way down there line those guys up and there we go. It's ready for the screws. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is use a little uh, blue thread locker. Um, it's a 241, I believe. Um, I've, I've got an off brand, but it's essentially the same stuff chemically. So um, I'm going to put a little bit of that on each of the threads there, and uh, that will keep them from uh, loosening or coming out uh, when the motor is in use, because that obviously would not be good. Uh, one more thing to mention too, uh, this is a shim uh, that you put on the first gear side. Um, these guys back 
together again. You can see where uh, from this end, uh, it'll just slide right down into there, and it will be flush with this front plate here. So uh, just make sure that you don't forget to put that back in there. Okay.